Hello boys and girls, my name is Hansen and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Where last time we have averted an energy crisis. Uh, we placed uh, more uh, power generators on here. Um, and currently they are making a mess. So we can deal with that that way. And yeah, ideally we would have a power room here on this side as well. Looks like here we still have a bit of, uh, of the uh, old wire. This is not good. Also here. At least here on the outside we can easily replace that. But that's not the most, most important thing. The effect that we had due to the power outage was the scanner had no power, which resulted in the doors oscillating, requiring more power to operate the doors. And then we had uh, some mishaps here. Um, where a few things got broken, so we are in the process of fixing that, and then we should have uh, more power available. Uh, we're also loading up the uh, the batteries here and planning out even more uh, space four batteries uh, so that we can store even more power that we get from our solar array because due to the fact that basically the doors were closed all the time no solar power which did not exactly help uh, with the with the uh, with the power situation But now this should be somewhat stabilized. As a side effect, we uh, also experienced a, a bit of uh, oxygen drain because the cooling system uh, could not be powered. So, also fixed that. the cooling loop here for these two machines as well uh, and now we have this this black backflow here which is not good but it will be fixed eventually So the next priority really is to uh, fix this. They 
also build the uh, the last solar array, which should produce even more power. But uh, as mentioned, we also need to store that power, and I think that was the main issue that we could not store as much power as we needed. So yeah. I'm still looking for the 22nd duplicant, uh, which should have traits cooking, building, and supplying. That would be great. So none of these will do. We'll take the Draclet X, because up here um, we have a bit of problem due to lack of... Uh, of dirt and that's something that will not go away just yet because we still need dirt here for the research which is not yet done so here on the we have one last research here and on this one, we uh, uh, still need to complete the novice research that requires Stuart. Then here on this side, we started with the uh, setup uh, for the uh, for the cooling of uh, hydrogen and oxygen, but. That's currently no, uh, not priority. First, we need to fix this here. And it looks like we made at least a bit progress here with some repairs. Um, we probably should also repair everything here on this side. Um, I also want to gather anything that's lying here on top. And ensure that we still have uh, liquid here on the dry walls so that the uh, cooling works. Especially if you have items, hot items lying there that can cause the, uh, the, the crude oil to evaporate and then we have a vacuum there, which means no cooling. So far, it's looking good. Um, here we have one tile that's no good. I checked that. And of course, this all gets priority six.
can place some few containers on here. And then we can also break this. Probably I should focus more on uh, on the building side than um, digging various pieces. But that's just how I play the game. So yeah, and here everything is six as well. In here, they are making a bit of, uh, of progress. Up here, both these... Uh, both steam turbines are built, so we can close this room off. And in here, of course, we will need a bit of uh, water here on the floor. And um, from here, We will have input going into this loop. So here and here we will bridge in until we have a certain amount in here in the loop as well as, as in the tank. So let's break this and get this out instead. Great. Minus R is built again, this one. being repaired it should just, yeah then we only have to get the, the material out and I think the problem there is um, that we do not have places to store it um, so let's add regolith in here and only regolith. I mean, we could also have. Here, it would be closer to where they collect the material, so they ha don't have that long a way to to go. Let's connect this this letter here. This 
ladder we need to deconstruct. And I think I can turn this pump on again. That's one of the main pumps. The, the batteries how are we doing and here we are getting wrong elements in here Let's not break this pump, let's just disable it. I have a feeling that we might need it again at, at some point. Here all our pufflets have disappeared or died. Hmm, okay. Um, and let's put that down here. The uh, crude oil level is going down. So I think once we reach this level here, well, we might turn back on the, uh, the pumps. I think we are good so let's try opening the, the doors again um, by switching the main switch so what does that do yeah we suddenly need quite a bit more power And the rubber miners but now we also have solar power so we once the doors are open we have more power at our disposal even if the solar panels do not yet work at full capacity and the doors are closed again so hopefully we can survive that and I think the next priority here is definitely this piece here where we need more batteries. As simple as that. This one. here and then the whole row down here uh, 
And once the pipe is in place, then I can go over it and replace it with radiant pipe. So we also can have the, the cooling effect there. And of course, I need all this with the network. Otherwise, I don't think we will be able to store much power. So let's have a look in here. Doctoring, tiding, Makrut or Poksha spawn. We'll take that one um, and uh, put them in here in our small farm. But that will do for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think we made quite some progress in securing our future uh, with power. Um, and hopefully, I think until next time, I will complete this battery array and then we can again focus on this uh, contraption over here. So, see you then. Goodbye.